Whilst Mary was present, the mother of Jesus, his voice was not loud enough. So Jesus was crucified. If you fail to speak tonight, I'm telling you, that testimony you are looking for, it will take another season. Bible said Hannah had been going to Shiloh many years, years over years. Every time she went to Shiloh, crying out for one thing, that Father, give me a son. She never had a testimony. But that very day she was tired. She had to speak louder than before. The prophet Eli had been seeing this lady pray over years. But this season, this time, we saw the woman who was like, this woman is drunk. And somebody help me. You need to position yourself today very well. This is the second edition of the Osato Conference. You should be rest assured that the testimony must be shared. Not just a testimony, a tangible testimony must be shared. I hear me. Say my voice will be louder. My voice will be louder. Text your neighbor. Say my voice will be louder. My voice will be louder. Say my voice will be louder. My voice will be louder. In the book of First Samuel chapter 17, verse 27. When you read verse 25, that was Bible said as David entered into the camp to give food to his brothers because they had been on the battlefield for over 30 days. Bible said when they when he got there, there was a man called Goliath disturbing the peace of the Israelites. So somebody help me. The Bible said David said he would bring that man down. His own brother resisted him. Hallelujah. But something great happened when he requested. Bible said Goliath got up and he made a statement. He said he will cut off the head of David. And he will give him to the best of the air. And the beast of the field to eat him up. Somebody here with me. Hallelujah. Go to the verse 25. The Bible said David also passed a statement. He said, you, I will cut off your hair. Sometimes, to show that you have dominion, you should learn how to speak back. It doesn't matter what the doctor is saying, but your voice has been loud enough. It doesn't matter the family you come from. Your voice has been loud enough. Hallelujah. He said, then, set David to the Philistine. He said, thou comest to me with a sword and with a spear and with a shield. But I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts. Hallelujah. What weapon at all is the enemy dominating your life with? Somebody help me. What at all? David said to Goliath, he said, but I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts. The God of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defied. Go to the verse 46. Listen to what he said. He says, This day will the Lord deliver thee into my hands. Listen, you need to talk like a conqueror. Can somebody help me. I don't know which area of your life is going through certain crisis now. But today we are telling and positioning that figure. We are dealing with it once and for all. I yell me. I yell me. David said, I will smite thee. I will take your head from you. May the head of the enemy be taken away. Jesus. Your image is very weak. Proceed. He said, I will take your head from you. Proceed. And I will keep the carcass of the host of the Philistines this day unto the house of the earth. Jesus. And to the wild beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. Jesus. This is why I like the verse 47. He made us understand that battle is not fought with swords. He said, And all this assembly shall know that the Lord saveth not with sword and spear. Somebody help me. For the battle. It's the Lord's, and He will give you into our hands. Are you ready for prayer to You need to speak back when voices are speaking. 
If David was silent, I'm telling you, he would have been served to the best of the beast of the fields and the best of the air. But he counted the voice of the enemy. So prayer tonight will move certain things around. That old story will never be said again. That errors in the bloodline will never repeat itself again. He said the whole assembly will know that God does not save with the sword. He does not save with the spear. He said what the battle is in the Lord's hands. Are you ready for prayer? Yes, sir. Lift up your hand unto the heaven. Say, I'm not the Lord. I'm not the Lord. I come in the name of Jesus. I come in the name of Jesus. I confront. I confront. Every strong man. Every strong man. Be a hindrance. To my next level. To my next level. Especially. Especially. My finance. Say I declare every force in disagreement over my next level. Tonight, I confront you in the name of Jesus. And I declare after tonight, dominion is in my hands. If you're here, shall fire for me. Shall fire for me. Your neighbor says, Sorry to you. Sorry to you. Sorry to you. Sorry to you. In the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 15, he said, He will give you an upper tongue of which nobody can say what you say. Dominion is coming to somebody here. If the enemy fails to listen to you years before, days before, some second before, after tonight, they will hear your voice. Can somebody help me? Yes, sir. Put on the screen for me. Luke 21, 15. Luke 21, 15. He said, For I will give you a command and wisdom, which all your adversaries shall not be able to gain, say, nor resist. May God give you that voice tonight. Amen. Tonight we are not coming like the way we used to come. We are not alone. We are coming with the host of God. We are coming with the buckets of God. Amen. Tonight we are coming like a conqueror. Are you here for with me? Yeah. Are you here for prayer? Yeah. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 9. Let's do it quickly. And let's do it to prayer. We have a lot to do today. Hallelujah. Just a simple prayer. That Father, touch my lips. That's a prayer of praying. Then we zoom into prayer. We have requested that Father, touch my lips. He said, Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. Verse 10. Until God touch your mouth, you can't approve certain things. Unto God touch your mouth, you are not set over nations. Unto God touches your mouth, you are not set over kingdoms. And somebody help me. Until God touches your mouth, you cannot destroy. You don't have power to build. Say, Father, touch my mouth. Father, touch my mouth. Are you ready for prayer? Yes. He said, and the Lord touched my mouth. He was able. To be set above kingdoms and nations because the Lord touched his mouth. Lift up your hand. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I am before the throne of grace. As I am before the throne of grace. Oh God. Oh God. Touch my mouth. Touch my mouth. Touch my tongue. Touch my tongue. Give me the voice. Give me the voice. Give me the voice. Give me the voice. To set me. To set me. Over kingdoms. Over nations. To root out. To pull down. To destroy. To throw down, to build, and to plant as I pray. Oh God, touch my lips, give me that voice, touch my tongue, give me that voice, touch my lips, give me that voice. Oh God, as I cry out, touch my tongue, as I 
my lips as I cry out. Give me that voice. 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 Stop fire for me. Before Elijah could have the ability to shut the heavens from rain. Is somebody help me? For him to be able to do that, it means his lips have been touched. Is somebody help me? You need the voice for nations to hear you. Are you help me? You need the voice for kingdoms to hear you. You need that voice. Are you ready for prayer? Lift up your hand. Don't look at anybody today. Only your people knows what you want to do. Are you help me? Lift up your hand. Say, Father, touch my lips today. Touch my lips. I've been bullied for many years. I've been disturbed for many years. I've been afflicted for many years. I've been troubled for many years. Tonight, I'm speaking where I am. In the name of Jesus. Tonight, I believe. As I call upon you, you will touch my lips. You will touch my tongue. You will set me above. Nations and kingdoms. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. He will touch your lips. Open your mouth and touch your
Say, I believe the word of God. I believe the word of God. That says, that says, whatever, whatever, I bind on them. I bind on them. Including affliction. Including affliction. Including frustration. Including frustration. Including disappointment. Including disappointment. Including backwardness. Including backwardness. Including poverty. Including poverty. Whatever I bind on earth. Whatever I bind on earth. Shall be bound in heaven. Shall be bound in heaven. I agree with the word of God. I agree with the word of God. And as I position myself today, and as I position myself today, I bind afflictions. I bind afflictions. In the name of Jesus, I find 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 afflictions. In the name of Jesus, shout fire for me. Let's put our hands together for. I told you that today we have a lot today, a lot. Hallelujah. We have a lot today. We are, we are going to be loaded today. Listen to me. Let me be honest with you. You cannot end June like this, though. Many statements, prophecies. That the first night you receive in your spirit and heart, expecting to see a change before July, it's not too late. You need to push through. Is somebody help me? Lift up your hand. He said, By the authority of God. Say, By the authority of By the authority of By the word of God. By the word of God. That says, That says, Whatsoever, whatsoever, I bind on the air. Is bound in the heaven. Right, this authority in the word of God. I position myself against any power, against any stronghold, against any resistance, against any entity, against any thrones, against any dominion, against any forces. In the name of Jesus, by my prayer. I resist them by my prayer. I oppress them by my prayer. I afflict them by my prayer. I afflict them by my prayer. I oppress them by my prayer. I bind them in the power. I present it anywhere in my household, in my life.
I have put my words in thy mouth and have set thee today over nations and kingdoms. The word says, whatever you bind on earth, Elijah shuts the heavens on the earth. And the heavens were shut. Today you have the power to shut it. Last prayer. Get up, Are you ready? Get angry. Get angry and do it. Because whatever fighting you doesn't play at all. Don't take things out from her. Let her know. See, I have power. I have power. Tonight, as I pray, every affliction, every depression, every affliction, every affliction, every affliction, struggling my peace. I find now by my prayer. I find now. 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 Be fine. Be proud. Be proud. Be proud. I find you.
your family. Claim it all as you are your business. I find it now. We bow. We bow. We bow. We bow. We bow. Any peace. Waiting to be born. We bow. 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 Let's celebrate the finish. 